So here we have an embedded gravity form in a new post. So this is a form here. And in this short tutorial, we're going to look at styling the individual list items or field items in gravity form. So in this form, we have our header region here, which has the form title and description. And below that, we have the body div, which contains these different fields. And these fields are arranged in a unordered list. So these are actually list items. When you put a new field into your gravity form, they are actually individual list items or list fields. And it is these individual list items that we're going to format now. So you need to go to the dashboard of your WordPress site and go appearance and editor. And we want to be in the style.css or the CSS style sheet. This is where we'll put in some custom code to target these list elements. So we need to type in body hash g form underscore wrapper and then underscore and then you need to put in the ID of your form here and our form ID is number four but yours is likely to be different to this depending on how many forms you have and which form you are targeting. If you wish to do so, you can target all forms globally on your site. So instead of focusing on each individual form to style, you can format every single form the same that's on your site. And to do this, you need to remove the idea of your form and also replace this hash with a dot. And this is a global formatting. But here in this tutorial, we're going to target the individual form with an idea of four. And next we put g dot g form underscore body because as I mentioned this is in the body div these list items are in the body div and we put dot g form underscore fields because we're targeting the list unordered list fields and then to say finally that we want to target the individual elements or individual list elements of fields put dot g field okay then we have our open and close curly brackets in between which we'll put our css styling so we'll just do some simple styling we'll put a border around these individual fields so we type in border and then we'll say we'll have it three pixels we have a solid line and we'll make it a blue color and then I've spot solid wrong. And we update that. If we refresh our post with a form on it, you see now we have a blue border around this top single line text field, and then this blue border around this bottom radio field. So these are the two fields in our form. And just to make it a bit clearer, I'm going to add a margin top to each of these fields. So we go back into our styling, type in margin top because we want the margin on the top of these individual elements, then we'll say 10 pixels. There you go. So there you go, this is a quick tutorial showing you how to style individual list items or fields in Gravity Forms. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel so you get updates as soon as I've got new videos ready for you. And also head over to my website which is www.neilcurtis.me where I have lots more guys tutorials about Gravity Forms and WordPress and other web design things.